Hey, welcome back. We're going to take a moment to discuss what exactly happens within a tub drain system so you've got a greater understanding of what's going on in your bathroom. Then we'll move on and we'll discuss how to make some repairs, maybe clear a clog, that sort of thing in different chapters that are upcoming. Now, the basics of the drain are just the standard drain system that virtually any drain from a toilet to a kitchen sink to a bathroom have in common. They have this section here, it's called the trap. It's called the trap for a reason. It uses water to trap sewer gases further down the drain line because if the sewer gases could make it up inside here, they would be up inside your house. You'll be smelling that methane smell and um, you know there's, there's some dangerous risks there. So we want to keep those sewer gases where they belong further down the line. You can see as this drain fills up with water, it will block those sewer gases from coming in. But once enough water enters the drain above this level, it will push that water through and keep the water moving through. Now when the water stops entering the drain, it will stop by filling up this trap one last time. Okay, that being said, the stopper for a tub, there are a number of different versions. There's a normal stopper where you might just spin it and it drops down into place and then grab that handle, pick it up and spin it to get it to stay up. Um, there's some cable operated systems out there that are also nice. They use a flap up near the actual base of the drain. The kind that we're using here has an actual plunger in the assembly like this and when you flip the switch it moves that plunger up and down and it plugs the drain right in this section with this barrel plunger. So that's how this particular system works. In my experience this is pretty much the most common second only to the, the just the twist and set kind of drains. So that's what you can expect to see when you get yours open. Even if it is slightly different they all have the same basic principles of operation. The repairs are basically the same. So you've got the thin wall, one and a half inch tubing, similar to what you'd see under your kitchen sink, um, tying into a standard high schedule PVC um, that repairs the same way all PVC repairs with the cement and primer and uh, cuts and fittings. So that's the basics of basic anatomy of a tub drain system.